Well, do any of you have a sister? Some of you? Well, did you know that Edmonton has a sister city? It's a city called Harbin, and it's in China, right up here, way up north, just like Edmonton. They have winter, just like Edmonton, too. And we share a special relationship that goes back more than 30 years now that also connects uh, Alberta and the province of Heilongjiang and Canada and China. And the story I want to read to you today is about a family that adopts their own little sister from China to complete their family. And this story helps us realize that there are many ways in which people who love each other can come together to form a family. So the story is called Emma's Story. Emma and Sam were making cookies at Grandma's house. Marley sat by the table, gobbling up bits of dough as they fell. Let's make a cookie family, said Emma. She used the middle-sized cookie cutter to make Sam, her brother. She used the big one to make Mommy and Daddy, and a dog-shaped one for Marley. Sam used the big cookie cutter to make Grandma and Grandpa, and the smallest one to make Emma. Emma and Sam each decorated their cookies. Buttons, yummy! Emma giggled as she pressed candies into the dough. When Grandma took the cookies out of the oven, she said, What a lovely family you've made. It's our family, Grandma. There's Mummy and Daddy and you and Grandpa and Sam and Marley and me. But look, I'm the only one with black hair and dark eyes. Sam had used raisins and strings of licorice to decorate the Emma cookie. Big tears rolled down Emma's cheeks. I want to look like everyone else, she said. <clears throat> Grandma gave Emma a warm hug. Would you like to hear the story again? Grandma sat down in her old stuffed chair and Emma climbed into her lap. She held Panda tight. Once upon a time, there was a mummy and a daddy who had a boy named Sam, said Grandma, and a dog named Marley, said Emma. They were a very happy family, except for one thing. They wanted a baby girl. Mommy said, if I had a baby girl, I'd wrap her in a soft quilt and sing her sweet lullabies. Daddy said, if I had a daughter, I'd show her the ducks in the pond and push her on the swings. Sam said, if I had a sister, I'd give her my toys and teach her all the games I know. Marley thought, if I had a little friend, I'd take her for walks and show her the neighborhood. The family waited and hoped and hoped and waited, but a baby girl did not come. Until one day, Mommy and Daddy heard about a baby girl in China who needed a family. Her name was Li Ming. It meant bright and beautiful. Her hair was soft and black. Her eyes were deep dark brown. The baby was coming to live with them. They would call her Emma Li Ming. Everyone helped to get ready for Emma. Mummy set up a crib and painted lovely designs on the bedroom walls. Grandma sewed a soft quilt. Grandpa built wooden, a wooden toy box, and Sam filled it with toys. Daddy bought a stroller. Marley held his leash in his mouth and wagged his tail. Mommy and Daddy took a long plane trip across the ocean to the other side of the world. They were going to bring Emma to her new home. When they got to China, Mommy and Daddy went straight to the big building where Emma lived with the other babies and the aunties who cared for them. An auntie walked up to Mommy and Daddy carrying Emma in her arms. She smiled. Here is your new daughter. Mommy held the baby close. With glistening eyes, she said, Emma Li Ming, I'm so happy to meet you. Daddy stroked Emma's soft hair and said, Hello, Emma. We're, we are your new parents. We will love you always. Emma smiled shyly at Daddy and nestled deeper into Mommy's arms. That first night, Mommy, Daddy, and Emma stayed in a hotel. Mommy and Daddy cuddled Emma. They fed her and changed her and bathed her. They played peekaboo and Emma laughed. They marveled at her toes and fingers and gazed into her deep, dark eyes. When Emma got tired, Mommy wrapped her in the quilt that Grandma had made and sang sweet lullabies until the baby fell asleep. The next day, Mommy and Daddy carried Emma proudly in their arms. They went to the park and to shops and to markets. Emma laughed and pointed at the birds, the trees, and the people on bikes and motorcycles. She delighted in the colors and sounds of the city. 
Mommy and Daddy delighted in Emma. A merchant gave Emma a toy, a furry black and white panda. It's a gift from China, he said. Mommy and Daddy took Emma home on the plane. It was a long trip, but none of them noticed. Emma held Panda in her arms. Mommy and Daddy held Emma in their arms. At the airport, Grandma, Grandpa, Sam, and all the aunts, uncles, and cousins were waiting to meet Emma. Marley was waiting in the car. Sam held up a big sign he would painted, and it said, Welcome home, Emma. Everyone cheered and clapped when they saw Emma and Mummy and Daddy, and some people had joyful tears in their eyes. The next day, the whole family came to Grandma and Grandpa's house and had a welcome home party for Emma. Everyone brought food and presents for the new baby. Grandma and Grandpa kissed Emma. The aunts and uncles and cousins all took turns holding her. Welcome to our family, they said. And Sam played patty cake with Emma, and Marley gave her a welcome home lick. And from that day on, Emma and her family lived happily ever after, finished Grandma. And just then, Mommy and Daddy came through the door. Emma ran to give her parents a hug. I made you some cookies, she said. Come see. Grandma called Grandpa and Sam, and the whole family ate cookies with milk and tea. Emma snuck a big piece of cookie to Marley. He thumped his tail on the floor. That was a good story, Grandma, said Emma. You must have heard it a million times, said Sam. Everyone laughed, including Emma. It's not how we look that makes us a family, Emma. It's how we love each other, said Grandma. And we love each other a lot, said Emma. When the family walked to the park, Emma held Marley's leash. She helped her daddy feed the ducks in the pond. Then daddy pushed Emma on the swings while Sam called her to pump her legs. Higher, daddy, higher, Emma laughed. Mommy snapped a photograph. In a few years, when Emma is older, Mommy and Daddy will take her to China to show her the country where she was born. For now, Emma is happy playing in the park with her family. That's their nice family photo. So just like Emma's family welcomed her, our city has welcomed people from all over the world. And EPL is a welcoming place as well. And whether you're interested in learning more about Harbin or China or Chinese culture, maybe even your own family history or what the library has on offer for those new to Edmonton, any library staff at any branch can help you access world language materials and online language learning programs or even trace your family tree. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Well, thanks for letting me read you this story. Thank you.